Hi everyone, my name is Jenny Gregory and I am going to be talking today about labor unions. This is a requirement in English Composition 2 uh, at Southwest Tennessee Community College with uh, Professor um, Tina Bodenheimer. Well, so let's start by uh, finding a definition of a labor union. Uh, according to unionplus.org, uh, a labor union uh, is an organized group of workers who unite to uh, make decisions about conditions affecting their work. Labor unions always strive to bring economic justice to the workplace and also justice to our nation. So uh, then who can be a member uh, of a labor union then? Well, no matter what uh, kind of work uh, you do, there is a union that represents um, any kind of work. For example, um, teachers, miners, uh, firefighters, pilots, bakers, uh, engineers, and even public employees can be part of labor unions. Um, so what are the benefits of uh, belonging to a labor union? Well, um, higher wages, better benefits, and a voice uh, that represents you on the job um, are considered, considered the main uh, reasons to join a labor union. As a member, you also have uh, a collective voice regarding uh, work hours, benefits, which includes retirement plans, health insurance, uh, work uh, place health and safety, and ways to balance uh, work and family. So, how we unions work? Well, it's like a democracy. They hold elections for uh, officer who, officers who make decisions on behalf of members. Mm, in a brief history, the uh, origin of labor unions began uh, uh, back in the 18th century with the Industrial Revolution. And during this time, uh, there was a great need uh, for new workers uh, who needed representation. And in the United States, a history of unions, early workers and trade unions played a, an important uh, part in the role of uh, independence or work independence. Uh, the most uh, famous uh, remains uh, the American Federation of Labor which was founded in 1886 uh, and it is famous because uh, it has been so successful in negotiating wage increases uh, for its members and also enhancing workplace safety for all workers. Uh, another uh, union that has been very remarkable uh, has been the Congress of Industrial Organization, which eventually uh, merged into um, the first one that I mentioned, the Ameri American uh, Federation of Labor. Um, so it occurred in 1955, um, and in 1970, the American Federation of Labor and the uh, Congress of Industrial uh, Organization um, were at uh, its peak with uh, 1.4 million members. Uh, but at that time also uh, it uh, began to decline. Um, while in the public sector, um, the unions are still uh, consistently growing. According to the Department of Labor, as of 2015, 11.1% of uh, the working population in America uh, was part of a labor union. 
So again, uh, like I say, uh, labor unions in the private uh, sector are declining, significantly uh, declining. Um, so how unions function in the workplace? Well, when you want to be a part of a union, you have to consider several things. Um, for example, an employer cannot negotiate wages directly with uh, unionized employees. Um, certified unions become the employees' representatives, uh, which means that all the discussions uh, about performance, promotions, or any other working conditions must occur between the union and the employer. Uh, the employer can no make changes um, about the working conditions of an employee, even even if it is uh, raising salaries uh, without negotiations. Uh, unions see employees as a group uh, instead of treating them as individuals. Uh, it means that salaries are not based on uh, performance or on your performance. Um, it look for the benefit of uh, all unionized employees rather than the an individual employee. So um, these are um, a lot of things to consider if you want to be a part of a union. Uh, it was nice uh, talking to you and I will see you next time. Thank you.